Hello and welcome to match three of this lead. Uh, had a bafflingly short match two against an unknown white deck, but um, I'll take the win and we are on the draw here against Lakesh. They play first, let's see, they mulligan. We can keep this hand. It's got six lands, turn four titan. They mulligan to five, Kidoke. This deck I find really does not mulligan well below six. Uh, you kind of need a number of Ooh, Dredge. Well, Dredge definitely mulligans well, so. All right, well, we get to see this matchup. Very curious. Um, Creeping Chill is definitely kind of a bad surprise. Narc Amoeba. Narc Amoeba's cool that it doesn't find any, uh, uh, what's it called? Ooh, still no Dredgers. Okay, that's good for us. And with no uh, Faithless Looting <laughs> and two Cathartic Reunions in the yard now, uh, this is probably going to be a, a lackluster turn for them. Seems good. There's a Dredger. Looks like they kept a... Nope, they didn't keep a one-lander. Okay, that's a little annoying, but <laughs> I think we'll be okay. This gets a stomping ground. We will definitely pay the two life. And we'll just um, keep going like this. This definitely finds a Cinder Glade. And uh, we're done. So they'll get their dredging started with Golgari Thug. Um, We'll just heal through this turn, we have no effects. That's a Narc Amoeba again, so they'll probably want to respond to that to see if they can get a uh, prized amalgam in their yard. Nothing happens. There is a prized amalgam. All right, well, that's one. Anger of the Gods will definitely serve here, um, but luckily we're still not under that much of a clock. They shock, so Cathartic Reunion? All right, now we're in a little bit of trouble. Creeping chill. Holy cannoli. Well, <laughs> I mean, if <laughs> uh, assuming we live to Titan, we will be living to Titan. That's for darn sure. Um, this will get a Cinder Glade. Um, this will find our last Cinder Glade. And then we'll yield. One, two, three, four, five. So Forest and uh, Primeval Titan, we've got it in. We've got it in there. Assuming they took back their... We'll be able to throw one bolt. We might be in a position to start going after their creatures. Um, gets their lands back, gets their blood ghasts. Yeah, we're going to just heal through this turn. Uh, they're going to have a very full board. Uh, through the Breach instantly wins us the game. Um, Primeval Titan, I think, can buy us some time, but man, we are in trouble with all these creatures. They cycle, forgotten. All right, that gets a... Oh no, now we just lose. Oh. That's frustrating. What would, we, what would we have drawn? Oh, we can't draw? Oh, I would have liked to see, but it skipped through our block. 
Did we, I guess we healed it through the turn. Okay, so we'll begin sideboarding then. <laughs> uh, that was frustrating. Um, we definitely want Graph Digger's Cage, Relic of Progenitus, um, Obstinate Baloths. Uh, we can cut Forest. Um, I think we can cut Bolts. They operate on a minimal amount of land, so um, I think I want to leave in Woodfall Primus as a potential breach target and as a big 5-5 five, five in their face. I think we are not making much progress with Bolts and we're on the play, so I think we can lose a Farseek here. Um, I do also think I like Tireless Tracker. Um, for one more bolt, and we'll try it like this. We're, it was closer than they think, or maybe not. Maybe they maybe they figured if we were on scape shift, we had them dead next turn. Um, oh, what a shame! And who knows if this would have been the forests or the cinder glade that we needed to kind of turn this hand on. If this were a cinder glade, I think I would have kept this hand. We'll mulligan. Uh, hmm, that's a little frustrating, but we'll keep. We've got one, two, three, four mana sources. I think we'll want to get rid of Baloth. If we draw a two drop ramp spell, this will be a turn three breach hand. So we'll start on Cinderglade and. Um, if we do hit a Valak, if we do hit a two drop ramp spell, we'll play it. If not, we'll just uh, put down Valakut. What did Foothills pass? Interesting. All right, so that's what that does. Of course, if we get to turn four all by itself, we <laughs> we just reach them. Tome Scour? No. Cathartic Reunion. All right, Life from the Loam. Let's see what happens here. Uh, we can heal through this turn. Creeping Chill is annoying. Stinkweed Eep is annoying. Uh, and they get Narcamoeba, which gets them nothing. Okay. So not the worst Some dredges. Um, all right, we will go to our turn then. All right, well, um, we've got them. <laughs> I guess we've got them pretty, pretty well locked up next turn. Um, Cathartic Reunion again, we'll just yield. Narcamoeba, double prized amalgam, that's kind of annoying. And they're above 18 life, so we don't kill them this turn. They get blood ghasts back. I almost think Anger of the Gods would be better uh, at this stage. Oh, that's... All right, so what do we do here? They chose not to get their blood ghasts back. Um, probably because they're playing around Anger of the Gods. What do we do here? This is... I think we could very much so get 16 in a turn um, between Creeping Chills, Further Blood Ghasts, um, like a, a couple of... They've got one Creeping Chill in Exile. So a Creeping Chill would... Th two Creeping Chills would bring us down to Blood Ghast being... Yeah. If they had a way to... And they've got Conflagrate. Yeah, this is a... I think we've got to be a little aggressive here. Uh, 
um, Primeval Titan and I think we threw the breach now. This gets a Valakut and a Mountain. We will not pay the two life. We'll be taking off next turn with Summoner's Pact. Um, this will attack. say yes we'll get two stomping grounds we do not want to pay for those all right um i think we want to save as much life as possible uh, Narcomoeba's two damage we'd be saving ourselves, I guess. Uh, so we'll we'll waste some damage and throw them there. If we go after their uh, prized amalgams, they'll just get them right back with uh, blood guests. So, I mean, they'd be doing that during our second main. Um, at the beginning of the next end stuff, yeah. So going after prized amalgam is kind of pointless. Uh, we'll go after them here and uh... it'll be a 10 um, so let's see what happens um maybe i should have left up uh, left their narc amoebas alone and just gone after their life total but uh oh okay but now they're at nine so if we draw so if they can't kill us this turn and we do draw a ramp spell we can valica into ramp spell and just win and uh if they can 16 us between uh creeping chills and uh conflagrates well, they might just have it with conflagrate. 3, 6, 10, and then conflagrate for 7. Okay, they win. Ooh, unless they... Oh, no, they're going to life from the loan here. Get three lands back. And uh, have a conflagrate for now. Yeah. <laughs> Conflagrate killed us here. Well, um, I don't know. I, I it was, both games it was close. Um, I guess they do. They are a bit faster than we are. Um, yeah. So they've got us here. Um, it was smart of them to leave up that bloodstained mire, but. Um, I don't know, we would have had them next turn. Uh, or probably, what do we draw? No, I guess we wouldn't have had them either way, but, uh, well, I guess so goes the match with Dredge. See you in the next one.